everybody say goodbye to the Chicago bootleg skips because they are gone. It is now time for an upgrade. What's going on YouTube? It's Be The Motivator once again, and I'm here with another video. This time, my video is gonna be slightly different. If you're new, I wanna say welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know, I'm a DJ, motivational speaker, skate enthusiast, teacher, travel enthusiast, just all around cool guy. I just like to have fun and um, just explore and do different things while I'm living. That's the name of the game for the motivator. That's my little introduction for today. Today, I'm doing an unboxing and product review episode um, for some skates that I recently purchased and I tried out. Let's get to it. I began skating in October of 2021. So apparently there's this big surge and surplus of like skaters and the skate culture is just growing here in America. But I'll say I had no idea about that. I just knew I grew up overseas, right? I grew up in Japan and in South Korea and I came back for college and then I went back as a teacher in South Korea, right? And so I just said, whenever I had a chance to move back to the States, I was gonna become a skater. I just love the skate culture and I feel like living overseas, we didn't really have access to uh, roller skating. We more so could, you know, we could ice skate in Japan. Um, I've been ice skating quite a few times, but as far as roller skating is concerned, uh, that's just not something that we did um, over there. So with that, I said, when I came back to the States, I was like, look, I'm gonna become a skater. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm having a great time doing it, meeting so many great friends. Uh, on this page, I cover skate content. But with that being said, I purchased a pair of skates early on just to try to see if I even wanted to do it. Right? And so I purchased these Chicago brand skates from Amazon. And they served their purpose. They did what I needed them to do for the time, but uh, they were worn out and they, you know, that got really damaged and things like that. So. Um, over the last few months, I've been saying, okay, it's time for me to make an investment, make a real investment. And it's not a, the biggest investment ever, but today I'm gonna to be focusing on the Sure Grip Boardwalk skates. For those of you that care, here are my Chicago skates that I was just referring to, right? If you look right there, got some super glue and some, you know, what's it called, shoe glue? Yeah, uh, tore up, right? I've already stripped them down, <laughs> changed out my wheels because I had some pretty high performance wheels. If you want to know what kind of wheels I roll on, they are Rollerbone 103A Hardness. I think they're like 57. Matter of fact, here, here, I have it right here. These are the wheels that I roll on. Okay, there's there are harder wheels, but this has been a good wheel for me. If you look right here, um, I don't know if you can focus, but if you look right here, it says 103A is backwards on the camera, but 103A is the hardness, 57 millimeters, and yeah, the brand is Rollerbone. So if you didn't know, the hardness scale is like, I think from like 78A to, I mean, as hard as they go, but it's a number and then the letter A that lets you know whether the wheels are hard or the uh, for like indoor surfaces or softer surfaces, or whether they are soft for outdoor surfaces like concrete and things like that. Um, so we're not gonna get too much into that, but that is, um, those are the wheels that I have used and those are the skates that I've used. So everybody say, everybody say goodbye to the Chicago bootleg skips, because they are gone. It is now time for an upgrade. This unboxing may not be authentic, um, in nature because I've already skated on them yesterday. I had to try them out so I could do the product review also and let me tell you Let me stop right there. We're gonna check them out first. You're gonna get to see them here. They are So here we have the sure grip box This is the box that it came in It's powder blue and black, right? And yeah, let's open it up and let's see these beautiful skates that I have So here we go uh, opening them up for you boom there it is right if you look you can see right here we have a sure grip note card you know it's pretty cool it tells you all the different parts of the skate and let's look at the actual skate so i'll take out one of them 
nicely packaged right and boom check it out all right check it out check it out so as I said I did use them yesterday but these are the sure grip boardwalk with 65 millimeter wheels now of course I'm going to take these wheels off because I plan on using these skates indoors um, you notice we have a plastic truck Right, but it's a very sturdy, very nice, classy skate, if you will. It reminds me of Chelsea boots. So, I'll say upon first opening the box, I was thoroughly impressed with this skate. I love the look. I even love the red wheels, man. I love how that, how that looks. It's just, it's really dope, man. It's really cool. But, of course, like I said, I had to change them out when I skated yesterday. So, upon first opening the box, I tell you what, man, I absolutely loved these skates. I love how they look. I love how they feel. Uh, I'm going to change out this stop and I'm going to change out the wheels, but I absolutely love the color of the wheels and I love how it goes with um, the tan Chelsea boot look. Like I said, it's really, really nice. But when I'm skating, yeah, I care about how my skates look, but I'm also care about how I feel. And so that is why they will get changed out for the wheels that I showed you earlier. Now, I will say, I plan on changing my stops to these right here. If you see, they're already worn out because I had, I've been using them already. But I like these size stops. So, I'll take, out, take off this stop and I'll replace it with this really small stop right here. You know, fit it, let it, it'll fit in there. Um, I had it checked yesterday. And so, that way, uh, this doesn't obstruct my skating or some of the moves that I want to do and I want to practice okay like I said before I have a plastic truck now immediately let's talk about performance let's talk about performance let's talk about the moves and the experience because they can look as good as they want to look but if they don't feel good then that's a problem this is what I'm going to say about performance immediately once I put these skates on the first thoughts that came to my mind were skaters have been using cheat codes compared to what I've been doing. My other skates were so heavy that my moves were so sloppy or compared to this. When I put these skates on, I felt so light and I felt absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, it took a little while, let me be honest. I kept it in the pocket for the first 45 minutes because I felt like I was going to fly. If I did a transition or if I did a crossover or if I skated backwards, I felt like I was going to do too much. And doing too much in these wheels would have resulted in me falling. Now, mind you, I did fall a few times trying to do like 360 spins and trying to do more than a 360 spin. But, I mean, that comes with the territory as skaters know. But, yeah, so... And it, I wrote it, this is absolutely amazing. It felt so good. Another thing, the inside doesn't have a lot of cushion, but it is softer. So while I was riding, I was just having the time of my life with this not like cutting. I have, I have long socks on, but it still sometimes it kind of agitates, right? Um, the back of your heel. And let me tell you, these skates right here are the truth, okay? Now, my scope and my... Experience is limited, right? Because I've only really used like, you know, two skates. But I'm saying compared to my skates that I had, these are amazing. The simple fact that I guess because this truck is plastic, my other truck is uh, metal, changed everything. And now I could see why when I was watching other skaters do certain things, I'd be like, why is it so easy for them to do that? And now, mind you, sometimes it was ability, right? It was that I had to develop my skills. But on the other hand, when I put these on, I turned into a completely different skater. Some of the things that I used to drag my feet too much and hear too many noises when I, like, transitioned or have a problem getting on my toes and, like, you know, but I realized that skates made a big difference and I did not know that. Also... Another thing I'll say, super comfortable. It felt like I was wearing hyperdunks or hyperfuses, right? The Nike hyperdunks. I was like, man, I feel like I can jump out the gym with these on. That's one thing that's pretty amazing. My body wasn't as fatigued. My feet weren't as fatigued. My legs weren't because I was so used to pushing 
what I now consider to be weighted skates because they feel like weighted skates, like weight ankle weights. Yeah, that's how they feel. Compared to these, man, never again. So, so much so that I used to, I probably would have said at first that I was a proponent for people uh, buying cheaper skates just so that they can get used to skating and see if it's something you really want to do. But now I'm to the point to where those skates might take you out your game if you're not really dedicated. But these right here, it's a nice starting skate, okay? You can get these priced for $250 roughly, right? Um, on Amazon, there's a whole bunch of different websites as well. But these skates are not hard to find. Sure Grip Boardwalks, they are absolutely amazing. They are an outdoor skate. That's why they have these soft, gooey wheels. If you look, uh, this doesn't say what the hardness is. They're probably around like, I think 85 hardness. 85 might be the case, but they are good for hard surfaces. And when you're rolling over pebbles, they're shock absorbent, as opposed to this right here, which is super hard, smaller, and you feel more than you would feel with these, but these have more grip. So if you're inside and you're on a hard floor, you're gonna have a harder time getting up to speed and doing certain like agility movements. So something to consider when you're buying skates, this is great for a beginner because it's gonna hold you, you know, and make sure you don't fall. Whereas these right here, I wouldn't begin with these skate with these wheels. Okay, I would not begin with these wheels. Look at that, y'all got like a product review for three different items, right? You got this, this, and this, and I showed you toe stops, man. I'm just giving y'all all this content. Hey, but listen, like I said, I love these so far. Every time I buy a new pair, I'm gonna let you guys know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, follow, whisper about everything you can, gossip, all of that. I need everything from you so that my page can grow and so that we can be great and we can motivate, okay? We can be great and we can motivate. I appreciate your time. Uh, I look forward to other videos. I have a lot of things coming up. There's a lot of things that The Motivator has in store. So stay tuned, stay consistent, and just be yourself. Love. Hey, real quick, so I decided that I'm gonna change out and just totally upgrade these skates to the, the way that Motivator approved because I'm getting ready to head to the guest it. Skating rink, Saturday skating days, it's gonna be cool. I got two different sessions. I have a video to do tonight. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right, so there you have it, folks. The motivator has done it. If you notice, I have motivated or I've upgraded uh, my skates. Yeah, they don't look as cool, but hey, listen, when I tell you that these wheels with these skates, it's a match made in heaven. So I'm excited. Do me a favor, like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to call your boy. I'm using this right now for uh, my thumbnail, so. All right, that's what the YouTubers do. But yeah, have a great one. Hold it down. Peace.